what's up? Thank you so much for checking this video out. Now you're on YouTube, which means you're going to get the full spiritual experience. you got the scriptures on the left and on the right, so you can go and find it and say, what? That was in the Bible? Where? Right there. I don't believe you. Go read it. Check it out. Thank you, Father God. So good. Now God has established this moment. You are here because God brought you here. He's ordained everything. He's ordered your steps. He knows your comings and your goings. He... That you're here for such a time as this, I know it's so played out and they say it all the time, you probably hear it as soon as you hear a Christian thing, but it's 100% true because a bird doesn't fall to the ground without God knowing about it. And if God knows and takes care of them, how much more does your Heavenly Father know and take care of you? So He brought you here. The YouTube algorithm brought you here. The TikTok, whatever, it brought you here. You are here because God brought you here by God's design. His love is too intentional to let anything happen by coincidence or by chance. All right, now maybe you've been praying about something. Maybe you've been having some questions on the inside of your heart. Maybe you've asked somebody. Maybe you're about to ask a pastor. Maybe you've been, ah, I don't know. I've got these things that I don't know, these burning questions. Maybe you wrote them down. Or maybe you're going to face something in the future that involves this. That way we can put it inside you now. That way when the time comes, you're going to have it in you. And you don't have to go get ready because you're already ready. But we believe that this is an answered prayer. This is an answer to somebody's prayer because this is dropped in our spirit. And we burn with urgency to get this out. So, Father, we thank you that you can speak through people just like me, everyday people that are, we're just vessels, nothing special, because you spoke through a donkey in the Bible. Your word says that the people stop shouting my praise, then the rocks are going to cry out. So, Father, we thank you so much, Lord, that you're going to use us to get a message straight from your spirit right into the heart of your son and your daughter, Lord. And we thank you so much that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. We thank you for giving us eyes to see, Lord, ears to hear, and a heart to understand, Father. We thank you for giving us the mind of Christ, Lord, that we can understand these amazing things that your word has to say for us. And Lord, we thank you that you're going to toil our heart's soil, Lord, and get the soil ready to receive a seed, that it can go down deep, uh, grow roots and begin to bear fruit. Father, we think the devil will not take this seed and snatch it up or that the, that the weeds that grow on it won't choke it out. But we thank you, Father, for letting the seed get deep, grow roots and grow big and then produce fruit, Father. We thank you so much that we might plant a seed today. We might water a seed today. We might even harvest a seed today, Father. But ultimately, you are the one who causes the growth, Father. So we love you so much. Now, here we go. This video right here is called Perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. Let's go. Perfect love casts out all fear. Right? God is love. If you don't know anything about God, I'm sure you've heard it. God is love. Well, God loves anybody just the way they are. Yes, God does love you just the way you are, but God loves you even more to leave you the way they are. He's got something better planned for you. He says, hey, you, you want to come be on my team? Yeah. What do I need to do? You need to do nothing. Just say yes to me and I'll do all the work. Oh, yeah, I want to be in your team. Cool. Gets you, cleans you up, sends you out, puts you on a mission. Now you go and get others and tell them the same thing that God told you. It's not like this. Despite what you've heard, despite what your friends have said, despite what other people might have told you, it does not work like this. Hey, you, you want to get saved? You want to come to Christ? You want, I love you. You're my son and you're my daughter. Yes, Father, I want to be in your team. What do I need to do? Nothing. I love you just the way that you are, which is true. Okay, yes. All right, perfect. All right, you're done. Let me go find somebody else. God's not going to leave you there. God's not going to leave you there and leave you in your mess, leave you with all the sin that so easily entangles us. He's going to help you break the chains because he sets the captives free. If any, the, the gospel is liberation. It's freedom. It's freedom. We are free. Who the Son has set free, he is free indeed. Free from what? Free from everything in this world. Free from the judgment of people, the condemnation of people. Free from the guilt of your sin. Free from the consequences of your sin. Free from the wrath of every, free from God's wrath. You are free because God has made you free. So yes, God loves you just the way you are. But God loves you even more than to just leave you that way. He's got a plan and a purpose for your life. So let him clean you up. Let's go. Otherwise, you don't let him do his thing. You don't let him. Hey, come on, come on. Now that's disobedience. That's a spirit of rebellion. That's witchcraft. That's evil. That's wicked. So come on, come get on the team. Let's go. Okay, Lord, I'm so grateful that you saved me and you do whatever God wants you to do because your life is no longer yours. You lost it. You ruined it. It was nothing without God. You were lost. You were alone. You didn't have anything. Now God has gotten you. Now you've given, you've, God has given you everything freely and you can help but do nothing but to submit yourself and be a slave of righteousness to whatever Jesus wants to have you to do. So perfect love casts out fear. 
God loves you, yes. Yes, we are afraid. We are we have fear of everything. I'm afraid I'm not being accepted. I'm afraid I don't know enough Bible. I'm afraid I don't I can't lead somewhere. I'm afraid of being a father. I'm afraid of being a husband. I'm afraid of failing this time. I'm afraid of the if you are afraid of something, then you don't have perfect love in you. Because if you're if you are afraid, okay, perfect love will cast out the fear. I can't be full of love and be full of fear. Oh, well, I, I think I do, but no, either you're all the way, yes, I have peace about this, or you if you have a little bit of fear, you don't have love all the way in you. So me, when I love my wife, man, when I was dating, I had girlfriends before, right? She had boyfriends before, whatever. But when I had girlfriends before, man, I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, what if they don't want to, what if they want to be with me? I was so worried. I didn't have perfect love. I didn't trust God. And now that I trust God, I know God takes care of everything. So my wife, because we're married, I'm not worried about whatever somebody else tries to do because I know that I'm honoring her. I'm serving her. I love her so much. The perfect love that I have in the Father that I know that He loves me with is that He wants everything to be good and perfect for me, that God will cause all things to work out together for good to those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Lord, I love you so much. I know you've got a plan. I know that I don't have to be there checking my wife's phone every day. Hey, what time are you coming home? Huh, you're late? Oh, no, don't go out with the girls. Don't go have a Bible study over there. I don't, are you really over there? Let me see, where are you? I don't have to do that because I'm not afraid. Why am I not afraid because God's love has cast out all fear. I know that it's going to be fantastic and going to be good. The context of that scripture is, hey look, God is love and you have to love your neighbor. If God's love is in you, what's there to be afraid of? Nothing. You're free from judgment. The people that have fear, oh dang, they're, they're worried about judgment, which means you're not full of God's love. Get God's love full in you. Let it be running over so that other people around you are affected by the love that spills out of your cup. God will pour it up all the way. Dang, and you're just loving everybody around you. If you're afraid all the time, afraid of losing salvation, afraid of doing whatever, then you don't know about the perfect love of God. And that's what the devil tries to do. He wants you to be afraid. He wants you to be scared. He wants you to worry. Well, I, I'm just worrying. I'm not really afraid. Worrying is fear. I'm worried about what am I going to do. Don't worry about anything, but in all things, give thanks to God through prayer and supplication. Make your requests known to him. The Bible gives us the cure for anything. Lady that walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I might walk through where everything's going to be great and rosy. No, you might walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But while you're doing that and going through the hard times, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Stephen, the Levite, Paul, all the disciples that were crucified, that they were, that they were killed, they were martyred because of Jesus. I'm sure they had a choice to be afraid. I'm afraid of death, oh Lord. And boom, they wouldn't have gone through with it. But they were, they were so full of God's love that God's love drove out all the fear of whatever their body was about to go through. Paul put it in jail. Paul getting beaten. Jesus, when he went to the cross, his perfect love for you and for me, that drove him all the way, Lord, for the, for the prize that was set before him. Lord, he says, yes, I will endure this cross, the perfect love that I have for them. Practical example, me as a dad, my pastor said this example and I thought it was so great. So I was like, man, that was great. I've never heard it like this and it stuck with me. The perfect love that I have for my kids, right? Me personally, if there's a big old snake in my daughter's room, oh, dad, there's a snake in the room. Okay, by the way, if it's just me by myself, there's a snake in the room, holy crap, I got to call somebody that knows how to take care of the snake. I'm not about to put myself in danger to go get that snake. No, no, thank you. I want to live longer. I don't want to deal with that snake. If my daughter's called and says, hey, dad, there's a snake in our room. Oh my gosh, where is it? I have to go. It's no longer, I'm not worried about me and what I need. I'm not worried about my needs and my safety. Hey, girls, I'm afraid of a snake, so I need y'all to really, y'all got to figure it out. I'm out of here. That's not love. I don't have perfect love for them if I'm letting them deal with it. I, I say, hey, all right, I'm in. I go get, I'm the bravest person in the world because it's only up to me right now. I got to go do this. Father, thank you for letting me get, go get it. And I go grab the snake and I throw it out. Oh, my gosh, I'll never do that again for the rest of my life. I hope I don't ever have to do that again. But because there's somebody else that I loved had a need and I was, I'm afraid of snakes by themselves. I'm afraid of whatever. But if that thing is hurting somebody else that I love, I have to go. The perfect love that I have for them, it casts out all fear that I have because the only objective I'm thinking about is getting to my loved one and saving them, getting them out of that situation. What if it was a stranger? Oh, the snake, I don't know, call someone that loves you or whatever. You know what I mean? But Ah, my girls, I got to go get it. I ha that perfect love that I have for them will cast out the fear that I have naturally over those things. So thank you, Father. You're amazing, God. Lord, we love you so much. Thank you for giving us perfect love that we can love you perfectly, Father, the best that we can, that we won't be afraid of anything. I'm not afraid to be rejected. I'm not afraid to go lose my job if I say something, Jesus, by accident, because that's just what comes out of me. Out of the amount of the heart, the mouth speaks, and Father, Jesus just comes out of every other word or whatever. I'm not afraid of that. Why? Because, Lord, the perfect love that you have for me, because I know that you loved me, because you, before I was even your friend and I was an enemy of God, you made a way for me to come to you. 
oh, Lord, and now I'm no longer guilty of my sin because of Jesus, because you took your wrath out that I deserved. You put it on Jesus. Father, I 100% believe that, and I receive it. I'm so grateful, Lord. And I, because I receive that, I'm not worried about the punishment anymore because I'm just excited to love you and do whatever you want me to do, Father. So that perfect love that we have, we think that you can let us live with it and walk with it, Lord. And even we can have perfect love with our neighbors, Father. As your word says that, how can we claim to love our neighbor whom we have seen, but we hate them, and then we claim to love God who we have not seen? Fake. If you don't love your neighbor, you don't really love God. Because God says, I am love. You know you're my disciples by your love before another. So make sure you're loving people. Love them. Perfect love casts out fear. You're not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of loving you. I'm not afraid of saying, hey, hey, what's up? Welcome, bro. Hey. Bro, you're looking like an idiot. So what? Hey, what's up? I love you. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that. We love you so much, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being with us, Father. We thank you for this video. Thank you for hanging out and watching the full video. All right, here we go. Some of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, Lord, is to bring things back into our remembrance, Father. We thank you that you'll quicken us and that your word says that your Holy Spirit confirms truth. That you, that you confirm truth in us throughout this whole video, Lord. Yes, yes, that was good. Thank you, Father, I get to use that. So you confirm truth to us, Father. You, know, you bring things back into our minds, into our memory, Father. And you also give us the words to speak in the very hour. So whenever the situation arises in the future, boom, where did that come from? Perfect love. What? I didn't know that. Because, thank you, Father, Holy Spirit, you had to put it in you at some point so that the Holy Spirit can stir up and, ah, here it is. Oh, and it just comes out of your mouth. And it's amazing, Father. We thank you, Lord, that... We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in heaven and places. Like, we're not really fighting against a person. It's the spiritual influences that are around him that are controlling them and controlling us and helping us to act in fear. I don't want to be afraid, but I can't help but be fearful. That's the lie of the devil. Anything that you're afraid of is a lie of the enemy. So we thank you, Father, that you've given us all of the weapons that we need to fight that spiritual warfare, Father. We thank you for giving us the helmet of salvation, Lord, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth. Our feet are shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We've got the shield of faith. we got the sword of the spirit to go get them. So we thank you, Father. You're amazing, God. Thank you for giving us the mind of Christ, Lord, to, that we can call every thought into captivity and obedience into Jesus Christ, Lord. We thank you for the fruits of the Spirit, that they are the evidence that we walk by the Spirit of God. We thank you for love, joy, peace, gentleness, kindness, patience, goodness, long-suffering, and self-control, that against such things there is no law, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for just being amazing and having full control of our lives. If you are a believer, you are out there repping, the, repping God, repping the Father to the 100% miles per hour going all the way, I would love to see your stuff. I want to check you out. I want to know who you are. We want to link up and say, hey, hey, hey. And we encourage our brothers. Because if you're like-minded, you're my brother already. Or you're my sister already. You're out there going, then let's go, baby. That's all I want to do is make Christ known. I'm not trying to make some other stuff. I'm not trying to do, I don't care about anything else. This is the most important thing. Thank you, Father. So if you're about that life, or you want to be about that life, hit us up, put a comment, say, what can I do? And we will get you in. I want to plug, I want to just... Go through all the stuff and go, oh, I just want to link up. I want to glorify God and the more people we have, that means the less people that the devil has. So we love you so much. May y'all have a fantastic day. But let's be thankful in every situation, no matter the circumstance, because that is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. Y'all be safe. Let's have a fantastic day. And let's go get them. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, thank you, Father, thank you, Father.